Chris Justice is outside. I was with him just at 5 o'clock. Things are quiet out there, at least right now, and you're here to talk more about weather and bugs. Yeah, John, we're dry for now, but the summer rains have sent a bunch of pests into a frenzy. We're primarily talking about yellow jackets. They're usually found in the ground, but now they're retreating to drier ground because of all the rain that we've had, and that could be extremely dangerous. Now, this becomes a danger because they're invading our homes, setting up their nest in between drywall and outside walls, inside roofs, and underneath foundations. Yellow jackets are like ants in that they're a colony creature. They could be found with dozens or even thousands of other yellow Yellow jackets in one area. Now, to find out what you can do to stay safe, we brought in the experts here. This is Larry Moats from Gregory Pest Solutions. And Larry, this can be really dangerous really fast. Yes, Chris. There's thousands of different kinds of bees and wasps out there, but only a few are really known pests around the structures. Uh, yellow jackets are the primary concern. Of course, there's good things out there, beneficial insects like honeybees that we want to protect as well. Now there are there are a certain kind of uh, you have a couple of props here. It's it's becomes a problem when they get really big. Is that right? Absolutely. So the best thing that we advise homeowners is do a good inspection of your property. When they're small, like this uh, paper wasp nest starting to develop, you can you can take care of that yourself with over the counter remedies and, and the, the wasp spray cans. But when they get big, like these yellow jackets in a hole in the ground, you could be dealing with thousands of insects and you're going to get stung. And you're talking about some home remedies earlier that uh, can sometimes people think it's a good thing, like the gas and other things. Let's dispel a few of these and see if they're a good idea. What about pouring gas into a hole and, and lighting it on fire? Is that a good thing? No, Chris, that's a <laughs> terrible idea. A, it's going to contaminate the environment. You could contaminate your own well water as, as well as set yourself on fire. We don't recommend gas uh, in any situation. You're going to get stung or, or cause more serious damage. We've heard pouring boiling water into a nest or in the ground will kill them instantly. Is that true? No, I wouldn't try that one either. That's just a surefire way of getting stung. You will kill a few, but again, there could be a thousand or more yellow jackets in a nest this size. You're going to get stung. It, it may kill some, but it's boiling water. It's just not the right remedy. So when it gets to the point to calling the pros, how much around about will it cost to, to get a job done like this to get them out of your yard? Depending on the situation, you know, it, it's typically going to run $100, maybe $125, worst case scenario, to take care of stinging insect problems around the house. If it's more detailed, where they're firmly in a wall void somewhere and we have to do a lot of construction, the price will go higher, but we're very fair. All right, Larry, thank you very much. We're talking about bees now. Coming up tonight at 6, we're talking about snakes and other pests that are now invading because of the weather. We'll have those full details coming up. Broadcast outside of our studios, meteorologist Chris Justice, WYFF News 4.